Some Jews, Yehovam ben Nevat, you know what damage he did to the Jewish nation? I can give you a list of a hundred Jews that destroyed the Jewish nation. You understand? One of them is Santa Claus. Santa Claus in my black list is the biggest danger to the Jewish world today. The biggest. The damage that he makes with his stupid books, the retard books that he just printed now, God needs us, full of heresy, Everything that is kosher in that book, he copied from other holy books. And everything else, it's his. And then none of it, it's kosher. It's all heresy. You should, if you know Hebrew, you should, you should write to me. I'll send you a link. Rav Ephraim Kachlon, the cousin of Rav Yaron Ruven. He's a Talmud Chacham, serious tzaddik, Ben Torah. And he's very... Uh, Pedantic, meaning he's precise. He's doing the job. He doesn't leave anything out. He sat 10 hours to read this garbage. Poor guy. Just for that, he deserves a million dollars. To read the heresy garbage of Santa Claus. And now, he said, well, people ask me, did you read the whole book or you criticize the book based on commentary you heard? And he's such an honest rabbi, so he said, you know what? They're right. I didn't read the whole book. So before you criticize a book and you say you have to dump it to the garbage and to the toilet and flash, you have to have the courtesy of saying to people, yes, I read every line in the book and I mark all the heresy over there and I can give you all the sources. He made a video, you can hear it in two times speed. It speaks a pretty slow. You can finish it in less than an hour if you know Hebrew, but you must hear it. Your hair will fall off from the heresy that Santa Claus writes in his book. You never heard in a history such a heretic person. Even the biggest atheists in Israel that hate the Torah so much do not speak such nonsense like him. The biggest danger. Why it's a big danger? Because it's also popular. It just shows how stupid the world became that people read such garbage and they continue to waste another minute on it. You cannot believe God needs us. He cannot complain to us. You created us. Take us as we are, we're going to do whatever we want, we don't need you. You cannot believe it. You're not going to find one Muslim that speaks like that, or Christian. Homosexuality, it's not abomination. Everything, the opposite of the Torah, everything. Why? The only reason he does it, it's pride. He wants to be unique. I'm a revolutionary. You know these people? Maybe it's a Gilgul of Baruch Spinoza. Google who he was. I, I put money that that's the case. He wants to be a philosopher. Rav Ephraim Kachlon did a holy work. He took the book, analyzed it from A to Z, gave you all the sources, whatever he say, all the nonsense, all the kfirah. Conclusion, this person cannot be a part of a minyan. If he comes into the synagogue, everyone has to go out. You cannot pray with him. Cannot count him as one of the minyan. If he's a chazan, if he say brachot, you're not allowed to answer amen after him. Not allowed. Don't be impressed by his white beard and sombrero. In India, they also have white beards. In Mexico, they have sombreros. Doesn't make them kosher chazanim over there. I know I'm speaking a little bit harsh, but that's it. That's the only language people understand. You understand? 100% kfirah. Kofer, Gamur, Gamur, Machti Arabim, the biggest in the world, in the Jewish world right now. Machti Arabim, because when a, when a secular gay comes and teaches garbage, nobody takes him serious. Everybody understands, it's not pro-religion. Someone comes with a black hat and a beard, people automatically assume that that's supposed to be a rabbi who knows what he's talking about. If you want the link, I'll give you the link. One thing I do promise you, after you hear the speech of Rav Kachlon about that nonsense that he's been preaching, there's a reason why it's my blacklist, number one in the list, right? After you hear that speech, you will not believe how naive you were if you ever listened to him. You know, one Israeli guy, I send him the link because he heard about his book now, was translated to Hebrew. After he heard the Rav Ephraim Kachlon, he, he left me a recording on WhatsApp. So you guys in America, are really the people there are that stupid? 
someone like me, three months in tshuva, it would take me 10 minutes to see that this guy is a complete kofer. How is it possible that rabbis have to waste an hour and a half of their time to read such garbage, 10 hours, and plus another hour and a half to analyze such garbage to explain to the people that it's heresy? When someone ignorant like me understood that in 10 minutes. I have no answer. You have a good point. I don't know what's happening to the American people. The universities of New York and America clog their mind. Clog their mind, yes. yes just as the anathema was issued against Farouk Espinosa, yeah. is it possible for uh, you know, an anathema should be issued against uh, you know, his brother? Yes. In an, if Rav Victor Miller would be alive today, and you take that book to him and show him, highlight some of the things he say, he would take it right away, throw it on the waist in the bathroom, and flush right away, and right away publish a letter against him. No one is allowed to stand Arba Amot around him. Because there was a man of God without politics. Find me one person today that would publish that letter. 